head hurts. This is what withdrawal looks like. I don't know why you'd subscribe to this. You look like you're smiling though. I'm having a great time. The important part Sorry. about withdrawal though is you need to know that it's going to happen. Step one. Step two, you should remove yourself from the place where your behaviours, addictions, habits are so that you don't go through the withdrawal experience in the place that you typically medicate yourself. I think that's a big tip. If you are going to go through withdrawal, if you're going to have a break from stuff, you should go on holiday. You should leave and just get away and go to somewhere where the environment is different, where you don't have to think, maybe where someone can serve you food, because you are going to get a headache, you are going to get migraines, you are not going to be well, you could get the cold, you could get the flu, you could end up in a hospital. It is entirely possible that you get so sick from your withdrawals that you need medical attention. But, I do suggest don't do it at home. Well, everyone, not everyone has a head scratcher. No, I know. But this helps. My, my, all my brain is like killing me. All I want is like sugar and like something. If I gave you a block of chocolate now, yes. would you say yes? I'd be very tempted. But this is so painful that I don't want to go back. I'd, ha I'd have to start again if I had chocolate. I have to be strong like my Queensland brothers and overcome adversity. <laughs> Even when the odds aren't in our favour, we I have to like. I'm, gonna, I'm anchoring on to a couple of things. The first thing that I'm anchoring on to is I've done this three times before and I know I can get over it. Uh, that I have an anchor that I haven't eaten Maccas in over six years. And so... You can put ginger in this. Yeah, I know that I, I will be okay. I've done that. I know I can say no. I know I can say no, thank you. No more. No. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> no. Oh, no. 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 This is an abuse. That was a really good test. No, I, I mean, I could eat it, but. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, my ear. Oh, never you feel good looking at it or? It actually makes me, it actually, my headache is starting to go away a little bit. Just by looking at it? Yeah, <laughs> by touching it. That is a problem. But that that's the level of addiction, but that that's addiction in the sense of like, my body's addicted to it. What I choose to do is intentional. If I eat, eat this, it's not because of addiction. It's because of intention. It's because I wanted to feel better. Because I'm trying to medicate myself. The problem is, I'm going through withdrawal. If I medicate myself now, I have to start again. I've already been through this before. It'll be another two to five days. I'm gonna be sick, I'm gonna be tired, I'm gonna be angry. I've already started, I'm away from home. I don't want it. And it's it intentionally, back. I don't want it. Well done, you passed. Yes. You did it, high five. Now progress to the next level of life. <laughs> Three. I only eat chocolate and other people have it. Actually, don't worry. Me. <laughs> oh, wow, look at it. Come on, that's it. Look mm. at it, look at it. Like, uh, there you go. It's, no, it's, it's crap chocolate. It's, really it's not nice even though, good chocolate. But it I is agree. Actually, that, well, maybe not. It's not even good chocolate. Like, Good chocolate really is made out of smell cacao it. and like smell peppermint it. and smell it. it doesn't even have milk in it, good chocolate. Taste it. Smell it. I can't smell the taste, it doesn't really matter. 
<laughs> so inflamed. Look how puffy my face is. I'm a puffball. Give me 